Hello guys, and welcome back to Mega Man March, day 13, and today we are talking about my least favorite Mega Man Classic game. Uh, <sighs> um, so I don't like Mega Man in base. <laughs> um, there's a few different reasons why I don't like it. Uh, it's just, you know... I guess I should just list off, like, what I don't like about it from the very, very top. Um, basically, the first thing I think I want to say is that I think it's very strange that they went back to the Super Nintendo, even though the previous year they had released Mega Man 8 on the PlayStation with no problem. Now, I pretty sure I heard from somewhere that the reason why for that was because um, they they wanted to give a Mega Man 8 experience to those kids who could not afford a PlayStation which is very sweet and kind and generous and thoughtful of them but why not just port Mega Man 8 to the Super Nintendo that would make a little bit more sense and it could be the fact that might have been their original plan, but they ran out of time to do it. So the other thing, but, er, sorry. <laughs> but that's pretty much, like, the Super Nintendo, it's a good system. I'm not saying it's bad in a sim system, but I s I'm saying that it's, you know, not, it's primitive comparing it to the PlayStation. PlayStation that can run 32 bits no problem without any extra hardware uh, compared to, you know, Super Nintendo. And it's it just feels like a step backwards cuz you could you could save your game after every you know, Robot Master. You've pretty much had unlimited lives, so it made the game a bit easier too even during the harder sections. You know, I liked be I liked that whole um, system. Even though some people complain about it, I think it was a very good uh, decision because Mega Man is known for being hard. So let's move on to the second reason why I don't like Mega Man and Base, which is pretty much because, well, I mean, ugh, it's hard to say, but. I don't like playing as Mega Man in that game, and okay, fair enough, you know, there's two characters to choose from, which is Mega Man and Base, you know, but the thing is, is that your go-to man should not be the antagonist or the <clears throat> antagonist, Ugh. yeah, I'll get into that later, um, your, you know, your main man that you want to pick should be, you know, it should be Mega Man. You should want to pick Mega Man, but his, the stages are so awful to get through as him. It's like they were designed for base and Mega Man was just a last minute decision. It feel, it does not feel like, uh, you know, like they designed it for Mega Man. They, it feels like they designed it for base, and then they just, like, threw in Mega Man, like, at last minute. And so, then here comes the third reason why I don't like it. And, no, it's not the story. It's one boss, in particular. This guy. This guy. This guy. His name is Dynamo Man. He is probably one of the worst and the hardest bosses in all of Mega Man. I've played a lot of Mega Man games. I've beaten the Shadow Devil and Mega Man X5, and I still think this guy's harder. Basically, Dynamo Man has your normal, uh, you know, pattern of a robot master. You could get it down pretty easily. He seems like he's going to be just another boss that you can uh, defeat with his weakness and breeze right through. 
Except for the fact that if he gets down to a certain amount of health, he will jump up into the middle of the screen, or the boss room, I guess I should say, and he will recharge his entire health bar unless you destroy it fast enough. And he just is, and just keep in mind, he does not just do this once. He does this multiple times. There's no limit to how many times he can do it. You know, this how much he pleases. And his weakness runs out so fast, and there's no way to replenish it if you die. I can't even believe that people could beat that game without save states or an emulator, because I had to use one myself. Oh, gosh. Oof. Yeah. Remember the hate train from a few episodes ago? Yeah. You wanna know who pilots? They're pilots. You wanna know who conducts the hate train? Dynamo Man. Dynamo Man is conducting the hate train that... Freaking... Who did I say was on it again? It was... It was Plant Man and... And Train Man and... And... Uh, Spring Man and, and, and just Clown Man and Aquaman, I guess, belong there too. And then Dynamo Man is just all the way in the front in conducting it. He's in charge. He's the one who made the hate train. Ugh. I know some people do like Mega Man and Base to a very small degree. And that's fine if you like it. You can like that game all you want. I'm saying why I don't like it. And why I think it's probably the worst Mega Man classic game that's out there. I wouldn't say it's the worst Mega Man game out there. Not at all. There are at least two I can rank higher on the worst list. Because in Mega Man Base, I actually was able to beat. It is a shame, though, that that was the last Mega Man game we had got for a full decade before Mega Man 9 stormed in the room and swept us off our feet. And we were able to live out our dreams as the little nerds we are. And Mega Man 10 came and did the same thing, and then Capcom kind of just stopped caring. But it's all fine. You know? So... Take this opinionated video as you will, because this is Mega Man Day 13. 13 is an unlucky number, as we all know. But don't worry, tomorrow will be a much, much, much better, more positive video. So thank you for watching, and have a nice day. Bye-bye! <laughs>